So what are you having? Oh, sorry. Well, good morning, world. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is a new day. Today is an awesome, awesome day. We're here in Roswell, New Mexico, Area 51, Alienville in the, in the U.S. So I am happy to report that I am getting solar this morning. I already checked to get over 25 amps coming in. I tilted the panels to check. I went up and did the wiring this morning. So it's about 1030 in the morning. The RV is good to go. I'm in a fantastic mood. Let's go check out some aliens. I guess this is the newer official greeting of uh, Welcome to Roswell, complete with cattle abductions and the flying saucer on top. That's actually pretty cool. Welcome to Roswell, yeah! Let's see, here's the official scenic historic marker with some points of interest we'll be taking a look at, as well as just some boring facts about the actual city. Uh, let's go find some aliens. I have to say the biggest surprise here of Roswell is how friendly all of the aliens seem to be. Much friendlier in person to come out here. Oh yeah, thank you, welcome, cool. I think it would be a shame for any business here not to embrace the alien theme in this town. It would be. Now sadly I just walked six blocks and not a single business had any uh, alien stuff, but Domino's Pizza cares. It says hashtag alien selfie. But a lot of people got in a picture here, ordered their alien pizza. Hey, here's another hotel advertising. That's cool. That one's carved out of wood, and this is kind of a little homemade saucer. I don't know what it's made out of, but uh, yeah, cool. And of course, a buggy driven by an alien, because, you know, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, not alien related, but worth sharing. Right outside there post office here is an R2-D2 mailbox. That is pretty awesome. Star Wars awesome. It says USPSJediMaster.com. Maybe it's a thing I didn't know about. I really like the effort though. That's cool. Check this out. McDonald's even got into the theme. They've crafted part of their building as a saucer. That's pretty cool. And it looks like you can eat inside the saucer here at McDonald's. Although inside it's not very space looking, it's just a toy land. But hey, and I'll give them a B for effort. I'm done walking for just a minute. I want to get the RV closer to downtown, then I'll park it and hit a few more spots. Don't know where I'm going to park. Look off to the right here though. The street lamps are alien heads. That's pretty cool. I'll bet that looks pretty cool at night. Alien head street lamps. Uh, this is where I'll park. They've got free uh, two-hour parking here downtown. I think two hours ought to be just enough time to check some more stuff out. You know, it depends on the lighting, but sometimes people have mentioned that the part of this RV looks more yellow than that, and that is a Tioga thing. Just wanted to mention that to everybody. For a long period of time, they they weren't matching it with like the Chevy or the Ford front end van part. It was like an off white color. And yeah, over the years, no matter what, a lot of the Tiogas start to look a little more off white or yellow almost. I'm used to it though. This is my third Tioga. And I think my blue decals with the blue stripes and everything just makes everything look pretty unified. Wish my scooter was blue, but eh, I like red too. Red is actually my second favorite color. Um, speaking of second favorite, um, my second favorite Disney movie of all time behind Sword in the Stone is an oldie but a goodie, The Cat from Outer Space. And uh, Jake the Talking Cat, the alien cat. Uh, it's a great movie. If you guys haven't watched that, you should watch that at the end of my video here. Uh, I've always been on the lookout for a Jake Caller. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but the, it makes a noise and it lights up. I think it would look really good on Jax to have that collar. If anybody ever sees one anywhere in the country or online, you should let me know. A oh, neat little mural here, and this property right here is actually for sale. I think the mural's included. Lots and lots to see if you just want to walk around and try to find anything alien related. Here we've got a, well, a, a his and her alien couple. Isn't that nice? Looking good, guys. Whoa. Whoa, alien everything. Huh. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> a 
alien spacecraft, UFO, and alien stuff. That's cool. Interesting. This area is work in progress. Okie dokie. Okay, what's this? The Alien Zone in Area 51, welcome. Okay. Hmm. A lot of detail put into some of these stores. <laughs> Maybe it's off season? This looks like a really cool restaurant. You can sit here and dine with aliens. <laughs> so what are you having? Oh, sorry. All right, so this is the official UFO museum here in town. Open daily, nine to five. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go see what we can find in here. Okay, this is a cool place, I can tell already. Oh my gosh, look at the Enterprise. That's awesome. Okay, again, not, not alien, but look at all the Star Wars cardboard cutouts. Forty-seven, the summer, the flying saucer wave. Would have been cool to be around in that time. We got some equipment here, communication and stuff. Wow, it's kind of terrifying. I mean, I'm glad I'm not here alone. <laughs> but that is, that is practically terrifying, guys. The Roswell dig. What do you think, guys? Is it a cover-up? Is that a movie? Maybe? Okay. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> creepy. Flat out creepy. Lots and lots of history in here to read up on. Get a load of all this photographic evidence. UFOs. Every one of them blurry. I believe it was just recently some uh, captain or colonel had some declassified photos and stuff about UFOs. So UFOs have been back in the news lately here. Gonna have no problem finding a magnet in here. Holy cow. What to pick? Ooh, I like that one. Jax, man, were you keeping an eye on everything? You're not usually a dash cat when I'm gone. That, whoa, did you have a little slip there? Did you have a little moment? I got you a, a present, kinda. Actually, it's for the fridge, but, or the magnet board, but you wanna smell it? Okay. But for right now, we'll put Mr. Roswell alien guy right there. Wow, he's a big magnet. That's cool though, I like it. Roswell was awesome. I really, really liked it. Here's the thing guys, I hinted at it. I'm not gonna be messing around up here where it gets into the teens at night and I gotta worry about frozen tanks and frozen pipes and all that. So like I hinted at in my last video with the solar panel mishap and everything, I'm going south. I'm going pretty much as far south as I can get today. I've got about three and a half hours of driving to get down to the Las Cruces, New Mexico area down there, right near the border on I-10. That's gonna be what I wanna do. I've never been up here and I've never taken this route over the mountains through New Mexico. I'm just gonna take it easy. It may end up taking a lot longer than I thought, but we'll take it easy up the mountain. We'll take it easy on the way down. I will even downshift it if I need to. I am not gonna light, light up these brakes, especially with the rear drum problem continuing I'm gonna be as easy as possible and careful and let everybody go around me as much as possible but uh, just want to get to warmer areas and uh, then I'll share more so that's my plan lots and lots of driving boring right get back to you guys uh, if anything interesting develops so I guess we're not quite done with alien stuff here uh, I just pulled off the highway I'm way up here by the way guys I am at 6,200 feet right now. Yeah, that's snow. Something I did not plan on 
being around. So this, we could get hit with some ice and snow, but this place is cool enough to walk around in a t-shirt and shorts and share it with you. Even though I'm freezing my butt off, there's a saucer. Uh, there's a raptor, I guess. Weird. So it's like a uh, motel of some sort, Fox Cave. Very funky little place. Many illegal activities in progress enter at your own risk. Illegal activities, huh? Okay. Holy crumb, I'm frozen, guys. <laughs> Why didn't I grab a sweater? Mr. Buffalo. Ooh. With icicles. This T-Rex has icicles hanging from his teeth. Okay, so it's a cave, which is funny because you know how caves are always really cold in the summertime because they maintain whatever it is, 50 degrees. Might actually be like a heater in there compared to out here, but I don't got time to stop at a cave. I do not want to get stuck in a snowstorm or have that sun go over the mountains and then have black ice, so I get back on the road. Hey everybody, I made it to Las Cruces, New Mexico here on I-10. You can tell by the palm trees, even though these aren't, aren't even natural from this area. But anyway, no snow coming down, no ice on the road up there. Made it up to 7,600 feet, so that was an easy drive. Really nice. Let's see, uh, Joey's been kind of leapfrogging with me here. I think I'm going to see her tomorrow. Uh, we shall see. I'm just going to continue to trek west, though. Oh, and also I realized I think this video gets uploaded on New Year's Day, so... Uh, happy New Year's everybody. Happy 2018 to y'all. I'm going to keep the same resolution that I always do because I think 1080p works really well for my videos. 60 frames a second, yeah. <laughs> One of the best pieces of news here. Let me go to the back of the RV here real quick. Got my tabs for 2019. I can do it online, but they will only send it to my PO box. So the, uh, this came, the 2019 came to my post office box and then I had a buddy mail that over to Lola. Lola got me that, so I'm good for a year. I wish I could move to one of those states that lets you do the two year ones. That'd just be less times I gotta worry about it. Cause I gotta worry about this every December and I gotta worry about the scooter now every June. So it's kind of right in the middle there. But anyway, uh, wow, today was, a, today was a crazy day, but today was a really good day compared to the solar panel stuff that was happening. So I'm glad I got all that fixed and a belt maybe. Okay. I guess he heard me and fixed it. Anyway, guys, uh, get back to here in a couple days. Bye-bye.